Hey everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I thought I would do a quick video for you today on how to order your celebration items. It is a little bit different, and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of go over it with you. So you can see I'm starting here on SimplySimpleStamping.com. The first thing you're going to do is go to Order Online right here in the corner. We're going to click on that so that we can get over to... Um, the actual Stampin' Up! website. So the first thing you're going to see, and I want you to check right here, make sure that you're shopping with Connie Stewart because I love you guys and I appreciate you. The next thing we need to do is either sign in or create an account. If you already have an account, of course, you're going to sign in. If you need to create an account, you'll do this. Uh, it's very simple, you know, name, address, phone number, all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and sign in uh, because I'm already in here. And I already have my information saved. So I'm going to, my password was there. So I'm already in. Welcome, Connie. So I'm good to go. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, place an order. If you know the item number, you can enter the item number in the search the store. That was Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we're going to add to bag. Now, at this point, I can continue shopping or view the shopping bag. Let's go ahead and continue shopping. Now, if you don't know what you want, um, I'm going to type in a uh, big shot machine. Um, I want to pick up a big shot because during celebration, it's a great time to get that fancy fancy machine. And there it is when I typed in big shot machine. So let me click on it and you can see I have the option to add to bag. Let's go ahead and add to bag. Now, at this point, I'm going to say continue shopping. Now, if I'm not sure how much I've spent so far, let me show you right up here in this um, upper right-hand corner. It'll show me how many items are in my shopping bag and how much I've spent so far. I am United States dollars, so that's what that is there. If I wanted to check out, I could do that, but you know what? I think I want to go ahead and earn some Stampin' Rewards, so I want to take my order to $150. I could stop here. Uh, $114 would earn me two celebration items, but I want those Stampin' Rewards. So you know what? I'm looking here, and Stampin' Up! says recommended with this product, that Big Shot Die Brush. I love that thing. I'm going to add that to my bag. So I'm going to click on it. And then, of course, you can see we can add it to the bag. And I'm going to continue shopping because there's one more thing I'd really like to pick up. And that is the Brights ink pads. Um, the, again, because of the price of the ink pads, they're $54.50. But hey, I get a free celebration item when I purchase those. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add that to my bag also. All right. So um, I'm going to hit continue shopping. Mm, I'm at $179.50 and I want my husband to still love me. So I think I'm going to stop shopping there. And now it is time um, to check out. And um, you might be going, Connie, but what about your Stampin' Rewards? You know what? You can add that right now. And here's how I know how much I've gotten Stampin' Rewards. Look at this. Congratulations. You have $17.95 in Stampin' Rewards available to spend. I'm going to kind of walk you through what happens if you forget um, so that I can help you through that. Now, at this point, I could come in here and type in um, the item number that I want. But let me show you what happens if you forget so I can take you through that. All right, we're going to go ahead and check out. So I'm going to check, hit the checkout button here. Oh, look what happened. You qualify for $17.95 of Stampin' Rewards. Click the Continue Shopping button to claim your rewards. Any unused Stampin' Rewards will not be available after you check out. Woo! Okay, that means I better take care of this right now. So I want to continue shopping. So let me go ahead and enter. I know the stamp set I want is Beautiful You. And so I can click on that and I see it in clear mount, I see it in wood mount, and I see it in French. I don't speak French except for maybe the word crepe. So I'm going to choose the clear mount stamp set. We'll click on it and look right here. Look at my options. I can add to bag or claim rewards. This is where I want to claim rewards, right? So I'm going to click that. I'm good to go. Now we're done shopping, so let's go ahead and view shopping bag. Now you may be going, but Connie, wait, you have celebration items. That's okay, because they are going to be right here where it says, um, where I can view my shopping bag. Now before I go too far, I want to give you a little helpful tip. 
real quick, just glance over and make sure the quantity is one on everything that you want one of. Unless you really want two big shots. Hey, I'm not going to argue with you if you want to pick up two big shots. But go ahead. If there's only one of each item, go ahead and just take a quick glance and make sure that is set at one. You notice right here, it says your stamp and rewards benefits. I can see. Now, check this out. My stamp and rewards, I remember I only had $17.95, but the stamps that I picked was $28.95. Not a problem. You can just pay the difference. Stampin' Up! lets you do that. I love that. Now, I'm going to pretend to check out, okay? And um, I'm going to hit check out. And look what it says. You have qualified to pick three celebration promotion items for free. Redeem them now, and you're going to need to choose them all at the same time. Oh, I'm so glad that Stampin' Up! reminded me that I haven't chosen my... Um, celebration items but they did tell me it's under special offers here special offers let me go ahead and zoom in there and uh you see there's some really great offers here so you can check into that um and add things to your order but let's go ahead and do the congratulations you qualify for one or more celebration products click here so i'm going to go ahead and click here oh look at this here are all the items that I can choose from. I love it. So let's see. Um, I am absolutely crazy about the Delicate Designs stamp set. So I'm going to add that one. Um, the So Very Much, that giant thank you stamp is beautiful. It comes in wood or clear. I am a clear mount girl. So I'm going to take that one. And then Avant Garden Polymer set is beautiful. So I'm going to choose that one as well. So I've chosen my three stamp sets. I'm going to say select. And there we go. I'm going to kind of zoom back out there. So I can see your special offers. There's my three stamp sets. There's my Stampin' Rewards. I'm good to go. I'm happy with that. So I could check out at this point. But since I've got you here and we're on this bed, let's talk about the host code because a lot of you are always curious about the host code. On every blog post that I make, I tell you that if you use the host code on an order of $20 or more, I have a special gift for you. You can add that right here. But I also say in my blog post, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you, use your, you lose the Stampin' Rewards. I don't want you to lose your Stampin' Rewards. So this order is over $150. I don't want to enter the code. But let's say I did. So let me enter the code for this month. And I'm going to hit apply. Now, look at this. I love this. Thanks for entering a host code. Since your order will now be part of a workshop, you no longer qualify for Stampin' Rewards. Would you like to continue? Goodness gracious, no. You don't want to because you want to claim those rewards for yourself. Um, if your order was under $150, don't worry. That's not even going to pop up. But if you did put it in, um, it would just tell you that it's going to, you know, that that's the uh, host code for this month. It'll say January, February, March, whatever. All right. At this point, you can hit checkout and it's going to tell you, um, you know, basically everything you need to do and uh, you're good to go. If you want to hit, I just hit my back button there so we could get back to this screen. You're going to enter um, your credit card number, which is perfectly and safe as secure as can be. Um, Stampin' Up! takes your privacy very seriously. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you that quick overview of how to place your celebration order if it's new to you. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Happy shopping, happy celebration. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.